The four ways to make money in real estate. Hi, I'm Blake Jones, principal broker here at RB Jones Properties, also a real estate investor here in the Richmond area. And today I want to talk to you guys about the four ways to make money in real estate, specifically referring to income producing properties. All right. Way number one is through appreciation. Now, appreciation can take effect in a couple different ways, okay? Way number one is just through the overall market appreciation. Inflation is a great driver of this, but overall, the market appreciates on average 3.7% per year. That's way number one. Way number two is through forced appreciation. Now, forced appreciation occurs when you identify and acquire property that is well under market value. You go in there, do the improvements to the property, do the repairs, get it up to speed, and get it up to the current market value, okay? That difference there, all right, that difference is your unrealized gain. That is the forced appreciation in that aspect. Way number two is through debt pay down. Now, debt pay down occurs when you acquire properties with the usage of leverage, okay? And you place debt on the property, all right? Because you have a tenant. And this property paying you rent every single month, okay? Now, a portion of that rent, you're going to go and you're going to pay your mortgage with. All right, now, every single month, all right, a portion of that is going to pay down your mortgage liability, okay? Lowering, all right, your principal balance every single month until the property is paid off to zero balance, all right? That is how debt pay down occurs, okay, with, through income-producing properties. The number three way to make money in real estate, and probably my favorite, is taxes. That's right. Real estate has the best tax benefits out there. And all you guys listening in right now, I know you guys paid a freaking ton of taxes last year, all right? So instead of saying, hey, Uncle Sam, here's my money, take it, 20, 30, 40, 50, $100,000, you guys are paying in taxes. Why? Why do that? You don't have to. All right. Don't let Uncle Sam, the government, say, hey, we know how to spend your money better than you do, better than your family does, better than your kids do. All right. Come on. Don't do that. Just buy real estate. You guys remember in 2016? I know Trump. I'm bringing up Trump. All right. But here, who cares? Everybody's raising hell about Trump not paying any taxes. And he got up there and says, I don't pay taxes because I'm smart. It's true. All you got to do is buy real estate. That's it. Let's go over a few things that you can deduct when you own real estate, all right? You can deduct all your repairs, maintenance, management fees, all right? Your insurance, your interest, your taxes, all that good stuff. But then the holy grail is depreciation. So you get to depreciate the property, the improvements only, over its useful life of 27 and a half years. Now be mindful, these are paper losses, so these aren't actual losses, but you still get to deduct them, all right? Unfreaking real. You can take paper losses that aren't even real, all right? And the beauty about this is you can become a real estate professional and use that other money to offset your earned income. So you could be a real estate professional and working over here at Capital One and using that money, once you've eliminated your rental income tax liability, you can go and offset your Capital One money. Unfreaking real You guys could be going to work saying, how much you guys pay? No, I don't pay anything in taxes. I own real estate. Solves everything. Real estate solves everything. I don't know how else to tell you guys. All right? Buy real estate. And last but not least, the fourth way to make money in real estate is cash flow. Cash flow is the granddaddy of them all. Cash flow is king. Not cash is king. Cash flow is king. All right? This is what everybody's chasing. This is what's going to give you freedom. All right? Cash flow is the difference between the rental income and all your expenses. So after you've serviced your debt, paid your mortgage, paid your taxes, paid your insurance, management fees, and any repairs, that difference is your cash flow. The bottom line, all right? This is what's going to enable you to quit your job and live the life you've ever wanted to live. Is that disposable income, the realized gains every single month. That's what gives you freedom. So I appreciate you guys listening to the four ways to make money in real estate. Give me a like on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Check me out online at rbjonesproperties.com. See you guys next time.